Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me for this week's reading. I will be working with the Cosmic Reading Cards. So let's get started. As always, these readings may or may not resonate with you. Um, I'm a bit ungrounded today because um, I had my mediumship and channeling event uh, yesterday evening here in Toronto. and. Um, I will be having another one in August as well for those who are interested in attending. Uh, the details will be up on Facebook, Instagram, as well as on my website. So if you are interested and if you are in town or if you know of anyone who would be interested, please do pass on and I would love to connect with you with you there. Um, it was um, an evening full of uh, messages from Spirit. I was doing mediumship as well as giving readings. So if you're in town, you're most welcome to join in. With that, let's get started with the cards. All right, so the first card we have is the shadow self, okay? The shadow self is the part of us that we hide or we fear and you know, all those parts that we are ashamed of. Now, it's like what, what I mean by that is, you know, like, we show our light-hearted side to the world okay we show our positive aspects but we all have our fears we have anger we have those attributes that make us feel ashamed of ourselves but you know with this card i feel that there are there are golden nuggets within your dark side as well, within the parts of you that are feeling ashamed, okay? Uh, for some, I'm feeling that there's a lot of anger, anger coming up as an emotion. And uh, what I feel with this card is, rather than judging that anger, uh, try to understand what is the root cause of the anger. Why do you feel the way you feel? What's what's causing you to feel that way? I also feel that this anger is actually a kind of a release for you. For some, I'm feeling that you see how she's hiding behind this. It's almost like she's hiding behind a curtain, but. It's like you can't hide anymore. I'm also getting like you will have to face your fears in order to do what you want to do. In order to accomplish that what you desire, you will have to overcome. You will have to face your darkest side, okay? Those parts of you that, are, that you are afraid to face within yourself is what I'm getting with this. Um... For some, I'm also feeling like you're you're undergoing some kind of a spiritual test. Whatever it is that you're going through, rather than rather than allowing that situation to hold you back, you can break free from it. Okay. The other message I'm getting now. This may be for someone specific. I feel like whatever you're going through, this is your opportunity to break that pattern once and for all and move forward from it, okay? And once you break free, you will come out of this situation. It's like, it seems like a pattern that keeps repeating itself. And when I say that, it could be anything from, you know, toxic relationships or staying stuck in a job that is not serving you. And it's time to face your fears. And sometimes those situations bring out a lot of anxiety for us. So the whole thing, the whole idea here is it's okay to feel the fear. It's okay to feel it but then move forward with it. That's what I'm getting. So you may be getting a lot of um, negative in emotions or dark emotions. I know there are a lot of spiritual people who believe that you know everything should be just love and light and don't talk about the anger, don't talk about all these issues that are there, but they're part of us and they're emotions as well, the shadow self. And the whole idea of this is to kind of tame it. It's like, I remember uh, learning in my psychology class in college that you know your ego is like your pet and you need to tame it okay so in the same way this the shadow self is actually you need to just tame it it's a part of you you cannot abandon it you can't deny it so you got to face it okay so that's the first card let's move on to the next card okay this one is clear clearly saying timeout 
time out, okay? For um, what I'm getting with this is not only time out, but connecting with Mother Earth, spending time outside in nature, grounding your energies. And this signifies, this is definitely a card for myself too. Like, uh, especially after I do these readings uh, for large groups, I, I need to ground my energies. Like I definitely need to spend some time out today. So this is what I feel, but I'm also getting like, with regards to this first card and the second card as time out this is like be kind to yourself be gentle to yourself pause okay don't judge yourself everything is comes together in a circle everything is circular everything moves in spirals like sometimes you will find that you're moving 10 steps ahead and then again another five steps backwards but it's not really backwards you're just kind of you're just kind of unraveling you kind of healing those parts of yourself okay so and the third card okay the third card that ties up beautifully we have compassion here so i definitely feel like whatever you're going through have compassion for yourself that is so important guys we're always you know that's what i find that we're always so kind and loving to others but when it comes to ourselves we are always judging ourselves we have these standards in our mind and we we always want to kind of you we're disappointed with ourselves sometimes when things don't go right but this is like no matter whatever it is that you've been through no matter whatever it is that you're going through like there's no like don't hold on to guilt shame anger resentments release those it's okay to feel that don't judge yourself for feeling the way you feel but then release it i'm also getting with this card you need to transmute those energies so those energies are not like you know so that they, you don't hold them in your energy field but rather send it to earth so that it's transmuted and cleared and then have compassion for yourself look at the energies with this it's like her crown chakra is wide open her throat her heart even her third eye is lighted up so it's like you know when you release all these emotions all these heavy emotions and for some i'm also getting this has to do with your childhood where you know you had a tough time with a parent or a parental figure and it's time to just let that go it's time to heal those things and to ground your energy so that you can come from this place of compassion and again this is a number 10 so you're completing certain cycles and with this i'm getting like pay attention to your thoughts because your thoughts are powerful and your thoughts are manifesting so you want to be a clear vessel for spirit to work through you and you don't want all these negative emotions and once again i'm not trying to judge those it's, it's a part of who we are being human we're gonna feel anger we're gonna feel all these emotions that we consider negative it's part of life but then how do we process it do we allow that anger to turn us bitter or turn into resentments or we allow it to transmute that's the thing so once you transmute those energies you are this beautiful lighted being which you are in truth, you are this being of love and light and compassion. So have compassion for yourself this week. Take it easy, ground yourself. And that this advice goes for me. I need to spend time in nature and I will be doing that for sure. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I will see you next week. Have a great one.